Um, hi, I'm Daisy, and today I will be assessing for a fallen range of movement on the van. Uh, the healthy centre region is not tied up for me because hopefully this week the um, rope is just through the bailer time in case it needs to move away or show the pain response. In there. So I'm just going to put this fall in up. So I'm going to start distally and work proximally. So assessing the distal um, intercalangeal joint. So hold, holding just above the coronet band um, and looking at flexion, extension, um, in medial and lateral deviation and some rotation. Um, and then moving on to the proximal intercalangeal joint. So uh, stabilising on the first phalanx. And again, there's some flexion, some extension, um, some um, medial and lateral deviation, and some rotation as well. So then moving the metacarpal interphalangeal joint, um, so stabilising above the fetlock, we've got some flexion and some extension, but extension we'll see more when the foot is on the ground because he'll be able to hyperextend by putting his weight through it. And up into the carpus. Um, we've got flexion, so we expect potentially a little bit more flexion there um, with the fetlock reaching the back of the leg. Um, it feels like a hard end feel. So also in the carpus we've got some medial and lateral deviation um, and then extension as well um, can be assessed with the proof on the floor. So you can see extension and then hyperextension. Um, and whilst he's got his foot on the floor, I'm just going to um, assess the range of his metacarpal phalangeal joint. Um, and I'm just going to measure this angle with a goniometer. Um, so placing one arm on the first phalanx and the other arm on the cannon bone. Um, and then we're just having a look at... Um, and it's about 45 degrees, which is um, as we would expect. So then, picking up his leg again. Thank you. So then, and then, and then moving up into the elbow, um, we have some extension and then flexion at the elbow. It's quite hard to isolate from from the shoulder. Um, so then, looking at the shoulder, we've got some extension and then also flexion in the back here good and then also we've got um, adduction and abduction so it feels quite tight into abduction we have some um, external and internal rotation though these feel quite tight um, particularly into internal rotation so then moving on to the scapula, finding the order of the scapula, just going to support by the carpus, and then we're going to look at dorsal um, glides, and then ventral glides lowering it down, and then we've got um, caudal glides and cranial glides, um, and then the limb also does retraction which is quite tight, into retraction, and then protraction as well, which does quite well. And then just pop it down on the floor. So to summarise, um, looking at Pavan's range of movement, um, he's a little bit restricted into retraction of the limb um, and external um, rotation at the shoulder. And there was no notable pain response on any of the movements.